A common journey that I see that's related to this video is somebody has a beard for a set amount of time and then something catapults them over to YouTube to look for a beard product or to look for something to help take care of their beard or style their beard and then they find this channel which I'm so thankful for and they actually try something that I give as a recommendation or as advice and it works. They like it. They see the benefit and they're like, hey, this Dan guy knows what he's talking about. And that excitement, that happiness quickly shifts into these darker thoughts of, ooh, I've had a beard for X amount of months and I did not take good care of it. Or some of you are like, I actually did things that I think were bad to the beard. And then you reach out to me and you ask, do I need to start over? Well, the answer is it depends. And that's not me taking the easy way out. It really does depend. But in this video, I'm going to give you all the details and scenarios that I think could help answer that question for you. If you're wondering, or if you're just here and want to learn about a new journey, a new situation, I think this video will be perfect. So I want to say thank you guys for checking this one out. If you could hit a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed, please consider it. If you are, you're amazing. Okay, let's start it off right away. You do not need to start over or do anything drastic if you do not notice any beard damage. All right, what is damage? Damage can be physically felt and or seen. Most commonly, split ends. The ends of the hairs or any part of the hair, that's a common misconception that it's just the end split ends, would be that it is splitting or breaking. So let's say at the end of your hair, you have one solid hair, at the end it starts to like kind of do this, not good. Or in the middle, it starts solid, breaks into a loop, and then ends solid, not good, right? We wanna have strong structured hairs. If there's any moving or breaking, that is damage. Other things would be you feel like crazy kinks or you have actual knots that are knotting up on your hair. All of those things are examples of damage. Or a very small example would be your hair is really strong and then at the end it really kind of wisps off and goes into a really thin little part that's way thinner than the rest of the hair. Unfortunately, that is damage as well. If you have those scenarios, there is nothing that can repair those. Let me say that again. If your hairs are split, if they are damaged, there is no product in the world that can successfully whoop, bring them back together again and give you a healthy beard. If you do have damage, you need to trim below. I don't know what the, I always struggle with this. Guys in the chat, when I'm talking about something, let's say you have damage down here and I say you need to trim right here. Is this above the damage or is it below the damage because it's closer to your face? I'm going to go above. Let's stick with that one. You guys let me know if there's a better option out there, but let's say you have damage at the end of your hair, which is common, right? Because that's the oldest part of the hair. That's also the hair that's the most exposed to like clothing and life and just stuff on the outside. So if you have damage down here and you're going to, you need to trim, you want to trim above that and get to those new clean hairs. Most of the time you do not need to start over. When would you need to start over? Oh man, if that beard's in bad shape. You've got little like wisp and disp and whoop whoops and zoop zoops going all over the beard all the way up to the root. Then you can give it a start. Some of you just want to challenge yourself. You just want to say, hey, I've got all this new information, all this new knowledge that I can apply. I want to start over. I want to go on a fresh journey, see how strong it can be. And that's great. Hey, more power to you but most of you don't need to do that. But if you do, please don't shave. Shaving is not good for your beard. It is not right getting rid of it, of course, but it's not good for the hairs themselves. It's not good for the skin. It causes all these micro abrasions that can have bacteria filling in there. I know there's an amazing wet shave community and people that know how to do it really well. I get that. But on average, the normal guy that's gonna take down their beard likely is not gonna have anything beneficial to their beard. If you want to start over, just get some clippers or trimmers and go low with them and leave it at that, right? As your beard grows out and as you do normal kind of maintenance trims, you're going to obtain and keep up the health of those hairs as you get rid of the damaged ones. So I wanted to make a video dedicated to this because I do get asked that all the time. I didn't take care of it. Do I need to restart again? The answer is, is there damage? If there is, let's adjust. If there's not, 
you would be shocked at how resilient a beard is. It's almost like certain plants, right? You go on vacation in the middle of the summer, the plant did not get enough water like it should have, too much sunlight, and it's, it's droopy, it's sad. Why am I making so many sound effects today? Hopefully you guys like it. But it's, it's droopy, it's sad. You come back, you water it, and then the next day, woohoo, it's doing great. Your beard can do the same thing if there's no damage there. Guys, girls out there, what questions do you have about this? Comments below, share your journey. I know some of you, yeah, I see you right there on your phone. Some of you are watching this and you're like nodding your head saying, I was there, I remember turning on this channel or other channels or even just taking it on your own of starting to take care of your beard and you had those doubts, you had those wonderings if you needed to restart. Did you restart? Did you not? Did you do a trim? What was your approach? Do you regret it? Are you happy with it? Maybe your comment can help somebody out and it can improve their journey and improve their confidence. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to read these comments. I will respond to every single one, no matter how long it takes me. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.